Lansing to give you, the viewer, an in-depth look at the act of receiving a minor in possession charge, also known as a MIP. Can you film me? Absolutely. They approached us asking if we were drinking and that kind of thing. So once they approached you, what did you sense from their reaction? They were more forceful than anything because um, they were just, they were asking a ton of questions like if we had been drinking, where were we going, um, how much we'd been drinking, if we were underage and we'd been completely honest with them the entire time and they were just really forceful on getting the information one of the first things that I wanted to be just super cooperative because they had actually told us if we our blood alcohol content was below a certain number they wouldn't ticket us wow. and we were brought in we had to um, take our shoes off did they um, explain why um, I feel like that's normal like procedural stuff at first I was kind of like what are they doing I was very scared after sitting in the drunk tank for I think it was like 13 hours um, my friend was in for eight I was in for 13 um, they issued us a ticket and then we had to show up in court and either plead guilty or not guilty. Um, I went and seek legal advice on the matter and they told me to actually plead not guilty because then they would give me another chance to um, explain the situation so instead of getting the maximum amount of fines that I could possibly get. I actually went through the three months of probation, two months of reporting, one month of non-reporting. The two months I had to call in every single morning between 5 and I think it was 8 a.m. and I had to go in and if they called my number they would um, issue me a breathalyzer and if I had been drinking the night before that would show up on that. And um, So as long as we were clear throughout those um, throughout that month, then um, the MIP was completely off my record and it's completely off my record now. Do you have any advice you would like to give? Um, well, obviously the first thing is to not drink and you won't get in trouble and you can avoid the whole process, but um, just kind of being around friends, like it's something that's going to happen, whether it's peer pressure or something that the student chooses to be involved in, but um, advice, just, just be safe. Um, even walking the streets with a friend, we weren't in the safest situation. Take cabs. I think that would be something that I would have definitely changed. Um, and just like not get caught up in the party scene because it's not worth it. Well, thank you. So easily put, just don't do it. Be safe because you do not want to be a minor in possession under the age of the Back to you.